Were you at the game the other night? I was, yeah. We uh, we we uh, went with them to the hospital just to check up on them, and then we uh, we found out. John Bamford's heart is hurting. Uh, he's working on his jump shot, firing one after the other. Sometimes you just don't feel anything, and sometimes you feel everything. Like many others in Washington Township, Bill, John is processing, trying to deal with the death of Evan Murray. He was John's basketball teammate, and he was like family. What would he have said to everybody if he knew he was on his way out? Like, he was always big on brotherhood, and he would have to told all of us that. Be, ha be happy, and he'd say, I love you like a brother before he left. Evan Murray's death last weekend stunned an entire community. The signs are everywhere in Washington Township. Blue Streak Strong, 18, which is Evan's number. Blue Streak's 18 strong. Uh, Evan was the starting quarterback for Warren Hills High School's football team. He died after being taken out of a game Friday night, uh, complaining of pain and passing out on the sidelines. Now, the report on Monday from the county medical examiner called Evan's death accidental due to excessive bleeding from a lacerated spleen. So we paid a visit to our old friend, Dr. Charles Simone, to ask, how could a thing like this happen? Bill, the medical examiner did say that Evan's spleen was, quote, abnormally enlarged. Uh, Dr. Simone says that can happen uh, with infections like mononucleosis, even a common cold. Witnesses say that Evan withstood repeated hits during the game. If you get hit again, like our young football player, this, the spleen will rupture, this whole area will rupture, and outpours all these blood cells. Uh, and Bill, Dr. Simone adds that an enlarged spleen could easily feel like gas or, or a cramp. And Evan was said to have complained of some fatigue, uh, but it's football. The quarterback's the leader, and, and the young man was more than likely just trying to play his way through not feeling 100%, but it informs the age-old question, and one that we got into yesterday, could anything have been done? And it's just hard knowing what we know now to see how. Is there any message here for coaches to look for with these kids? Because it is the instinct of a football coach is to say, look, play through it if you can. I grew up competitively figure skating. I fell on triple jumps, hit the ground, hit the ice really hard, but I didn't realize I was bruised up until long after practice was over. What was it like talking to the people who are just one removed? Emotionally, I mean, are they, do they get strength from the fact that there's been this outpouring? John and Evan were two of what John says were about seven friends who have played sports going back to third and fourth grade. Uh, he says that the boys that remain in that group have just been playing a lot of ping pong together. Uh, they talk, uh, they don't talk, um, but you know, I, I don't know what you yeah, can give anybody. So or say to anybody that's going to make them feel better. This is a time uh, heals all wounds situation, and it's going to take some. The viewing sure. is Wednesday. Yeah, and the funeral is Thursday. Okay. And obviously, our thoughts and prayers to the family. I can't imagine. Okay.